This is Damon Stevens with Thin Wealth Builders, and today is October 11th, 2021, and this is a stock market update. Let's get into it and take a look at what happened today in the market. Uh, looking at the Dow Jones, um, it closed down uh, 0.72%, NASDAQ down 0.64%, and S&P 500 down 0.69%. Uh, you can see here, we got a nice uh, red map here today. Uh, across the board uh, overall. And uh, you can see here that our fangs uh, suffered a little bit today. You see on the China side that uh, BABA, you know, continued to stay green, but uh, there is a mixed uh, look here at China as well and across the, the whole world right now. So, you know, do we see a down day tomorrow again? Uh, you know, I think it's possible based on what I'm seeing here just on the surface. Uh, we'll dig into some charts and take a look, but uh, you can see here definitely uh, it's you know, definitely thought we were going to have a possibly low rally here, but you can see that it was short lived. You know, even here on the Dow, you can see the chart where it kind of popped up in the day and then it just slowly just grinded down all day long. Same with the NASDAQ, same with the SPY. And actually, you know, the thing that uh, made me, uh, you know, think that uh, the weakness was uh, definitely setting in here, especially at this close here, was this little pop down here right at the end of the day. So, I mean, the, at the end of the day, instead of trying to rally back up, it did try to dip down. So will we see a turnaround Tuesday where the market turns around and starts to climb back up here to these levels? Uh, you know, uh, we can, we'll see for sure, but for right now, at least the uh, at least from what I'm seeing on the open, um, it looks like we could see possibly some weakness. Now, if we, if we have a nice drop in the morning, could be enough to get us to pop back up and maybe have a positive uh, end of the day tomorrow. So definitely gonna be watching the price action, definitely keep an eye on these levels. Uh, if they break down too far, you know, we could have a long way down. So um, we are sitting on, you know, critical support level right now. And we'll get into the charts and take a look at that. Um, so just be real careful out there if you're if you're trading. Uh, you can see here BTGX uh, was uh, our stock of the day. And so let's go ahead and take a look at a chart and see kind of what we got out of that. So uh, BT, uh, BTGX, um, I did get this one. Um, I didn't get it right on uh, on the open, but I did get it, uh, you know, after it gapped up here and I uh, had a little bit of a pullback. So you can see here, uh, 1812 was a low, 3681 was the high. Um, did definitely a pull clear up here. The high um, in the morning was around 3535. We pulled back down here uh, just around 3245, which is uh, where I entered in and uh, Wrote it back up here. I didn't write it all the way up to the top but throughout the day. I just kind of scalped it up a little bit here uh, around to uh, 36. So I didn't get quite, quite back up here where the high was, you know, almost 37. Um, but, uh, you know, definitely it was a, a good stock for today. You know, and I do like that it's kind of stayed up here and closed um, above the 20. So looking for continuation uh, tomorrow. So this is the stock on a watch list uh, for tomorrow morning, PTGX. Uh, and then also bros, B-R-O-S. Uh, you can see here, now this one didn't gap up. This actually just kind of steadily climbed from 42.52 up to 50.22 for the high. Uh, so that's uh, that's a huge climb right there. Uh, and it was nice because you had a chance to actually get in here uh, and just kind of slowly ride this up. Now, you know, it did pull back at the end of the day, it retraced a little bit, but it did that, you know, in the morning as well. So you're getting opportunities to get in here. I think this one's going to possibly go a little higher. I'm going to look for a breakout above 50, uh, hopefully tomorrow. We'll see. It's above the 20 still. So we have some good support here uh, around this 4833, which I have mapped out here. Uh, so we'll just see if we can pop up here, get above this uh, resistance here around 50 and see if we can take this to new highs and see if we can get up to at least, you know, uh, 51, um, 50 is probably my next goal here on this, uh, this stock here. CCXI, this was from last week, this is multi-day trade. See that we had a nice pull down uh, from uh, Friday here. Uh, but then, um, you know, we've had a chance to ride this back up here. We've got a trend line here, resistance up here that we've kind of hit twice now. Um, so we, but we did get a little bit of a pullback uh, down here to, uh, this is a little range around 38.42, right back up to 41.96. So not a huge run, uh, but definitely continues to, to find opportunities to scalp this one. Uh, and we're uh, just sitting right on the 20. We've popped a load a couple of times, but did close above it. So that's great for us. Uh, looking for a pop-up tomorrow of CCXI as well. This is on our short list as well. Uh, seeing that it's kind of hit resistance a couple of times, you know, uh, can it continue to go? It could, um, but... Um, 
Now we've seen it flatten out here, show some weakness. Uh, so we'll be definitely watching, uh, keep an eye close on this one. Uh, AFRM, multi, multi-day trade. Uh, and you see here that we, we're kind of in a wedge here. Um, so you look at here, on the chart here, we had uh, quite a few different uh, pullbacks here. So 135.12 was a low, 145.99. So about $10 move here that you had available to you. I did pull back down and retrace right down to this neckline right here. So if it uh, drops below here tomorrow and doesn't hold below this 135, should we come down here the 200, possibly lower? I got a, a support level down here around 131. Um, so looking to see if this will hold and bounce off of here again. Um, and it did bounce out of this triangle. You can see kind of how it fell through. So uh, just seeing if we'll hold support in the morning, bounce off. If we do, we probably have another date, another trade in here on AFRM. So um, that was been a good one for us. Uh, Fizz, this has also been a multi, multi-day trade. Uh, so you can see here, uh, with the latest uh, on the 11th uh, today, we did get a pullback from this 55.60 down to 54.42. Found support on this trend line, which we had down here as well. So this was uh, you know back here um, last week. So you can see that we're getting opportunities to you know get support and bounce off of that level. We're right on the 200 right now, looking for a bounce off that tomorrow as well. So this is in our short list. You see a slight trend upwards. So looking for the, a continuation of that uh, that positive trend. Uh, looking at stocks, uh, you know, as far as earnings, uh, you know, I have Wednesday and Thursday marked out here. Um, again, we talked about this on Sunday's prep. Uh, looking for uh, Wednesday and Thursday to see what uh, the bank stocks are going to do for us and how that's going to affect the market. So definitely keeping a close eye on those areas. Uh, Tesla, we had this little wedge here that was bouncing back and through, four through. Did fall through that, did find support here on this 200 on the short term time frame on the five minute chart. It had it be back here as well um, earlier uh, in the morning. So uh, it came right back down there, see if we can bounce off of this one and continue up north. Uh, we did break down uh, south of that triangle. So we could possibly have some more downward uh, momentum here, um, but uh, hopefully we can find that support uh, like we did earlier and continue moving up. Uh, Netflix. Netflix has had a huge run, huge run. Uh, and we've consolidated here and we broke down south here, just very much like Tesla, but we broke below the 200 here. Uh, so uh, that's a, definitely a sign of weakness. Going to be watching this one for possible short. We talked about this on the Sunday prep as well. So definitely looking in the morning for a possible short opportunity there on Netflix. Uh, NVIDIA, you see here, had a low here, we bounced off the 200. So that's great. We found support there at 195.55. Trying to rally back up here. Still a little bit of weakness here. We are below the trend line. Um, so seeing if we can get back above that. Um, but right now, looking kind of weak, could be a shorting opportunity on NVIDIA as well. Uh, Moderna, you see here, nice flat consolidation. We've been going on here for a while. Um, we've got found support here on the trend line twice. Looks like we might be curving back down for another test here at 296. So 298 to 296 could be our next level down. Definitely looking for a short uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, BNTX, right on that support line, looking for a bounce off that. Uh, you see we have a couple gaps above. So we can stay above this trend line, above the 200. I think we got some momentum to, uh, to move up on BNTX. Looking at the dollar, dollars in this channel is flat. It's moving up towards this resistance level here that we have at 94. So we'll see um, what if it can hold um, and break through that and start to move to new highs. Uh, if it does, again, you know, that could be negative on the market. So we got to keep an eye on that one. Uh, the same goes for the VIX. Uh, the VIX, um, it was pulling down here towards the 1770 level, bounced off, bounced back up, and here's just right underneath the 200. So that makes me a little bit nervous that we could have possibly some more downturn, especially if the if the VIX starts to climb above here, above 20 now, and it's it's right at 1999, right underneath the 200. So um, going to be watching that in the pre-market and also on the first open, first half hour of the moment, morning, morning to see, you know, which way that's going. Because if it's just playing with this right now, and if it if it breaks up above 20, we could have, have a down day tomorrow instead of a turnaround Tuesday. So uh, definitely got to watch that uh, first thing in the morning. SPY, you know, I left this gap on here. We have this gap up here. We have this one, and uh, we did fill that gap. So the gap is full. 
So, uh, you know, typically I was expecting, you know, at the end of the day, I thought the SPY for sure was going to give a little bit of bounce and move up after filling that uh, gap. It did not, um, which is definitely a sign of weakness. You can see this curving down here. You see the moving averages are curving down as well. So do we break down below that to this next level down here that we have on our chart at around 432.97, 433? Uh, I think it's very, very possible. Uh, and hopefully we don't break that because then we'd be continuing down the slope down towards um, you know, major support levels here. Um, the next level down would be 431. So seeing if the SPY can bounce tomorrow, if it does, it'll give us a turnaround Tuesday. Uh, but got to watch the VIX. Got to watch that VIX. Got to watch the SPY. Got to watch what the market overall is doing to get some direction on where we're going because we're at uh, a critical breakdown level here. Uh, if you look at the uh, the treasury, uh, you see here uh, we were we were uh, climbing clear up there, pretty high to one six. So that definitely was showing um, definitely some uh, huge strength, which was going to impact the market in a negative way. But you see here we're sitting flat, right above the twenty. Uh, not a lot of movement here. Uh, we've been in resistance here before, uh, so we'll see uh, what we end up doing um, here. But you can see that uh, it's pretty choppy. Uh, and so we keep that in mind. Uh, so make sure you're locked in those tr those uh, profits along the way. Triple Qs definitely showing weakness. We have support down here at around 357. See if we can hold that. If not, we have this trend line clear down here, 348. So hope we don't go down there. Um, if we do, uh, might be a good bounce and buying opportunity down there. So keeping that on the on the list here, just in case we do. Uh, semiconductor showing a little bit of weakness as well. Uh, we have a support line here at 252.34. If not, we could be chasing all the way down this uh, breakdown candle um, that we had prior here. Um, so 249.85 would be the next level if we do break the next levels of uh, support. IWM, uh, actually, we covered, uh, let's see. So let's see, IWM, you see here, we come down. Got a gap here that we're looking to fill. We have support line here at 220. So we'll see if uh, we can bounce off of that and head back up. Um, looking at uh, financials here, XLF, you see here, we definitely weakness. We pulled back here after uh, hitting this uh, resistance level here, you know, for about a week. Pull back here, filled the gap. So uh, this gap here is full. And can we bounce off here back up? Uh, it's very possible. Uh, but if not, we, we, uh, we're going to break down into back into this, you know, a wedge that we had here and uh, we could possibly see um, some weakness down here and it could actually pull down lower. So hopefully it can bounce off of where it's at right now, now that it's had a chance to uh, fill in that gap. Um, find the XLE, so energy continues to climb. And you see here, it found resistance up here at uh, this 5757 level and it's pulled back down just below the, uh, the resistance uh, level it had before. So it broke through support back into this range here that we were at back here in June. Um, so we'll see if uh, what it decides to do, but right now we're back at the June levels. Uh, gold, gold's had a nice rally. Now two days, it got above all this resistance and all the moving averages. So finally I'm working positive. Uh, now we have some resistance lines here at uh, 1764, we got to break through to get back up to 1769. So we'll see uh, what gold can do. Silver, it was pulling back here, but it tried to bounce back up. It's still under uh, the 100 moving average. It's right at the very top of this uh, descending uh, triangle right here that we have. So does it bounce above that? We'll see. Or does it continue to bounce through here before breaking through? Um, we'll have to watch that. Um, Bitcoin. Bitcoin uh, came up, broke through the next level of resistance, and it's coming back down. If it checks in, it can find support here around this 56,700 um, and bounce off that, then it'll be working its way back up towards 60,000. Uh, so looking to see what it's going to do. But right now, it uh, looks like it's coming back in to check in. So we could very well bounce off that, continue uh, on the north side. Uh, Shiba continues to find some support here. Uh, it was a little bit flat today, uh, so we'll see. It's got it hit resistance here around this um, sub 32 level, 
So we'll see if it can um, if it can break back through that, or, or if it's going to come back and, and actually do some uh, retracement here, which is normal. But, you know, if it retraced back down here, this would be a good retracement of uh, these candles here. So uh, that's a possibility. Just keep an eye on that. Uh, definitely lock profits in if you um, if you've been riding Shiva. Uh, for a while here because it uh, it gave you a big run hate to give all those back those dollars back at least to try to take out at least what you're uh, investing and you know obviously it's not financial advice but you know definitely taking profits is the best way to you know continue to trade and and uh, to enjoy this uh, job here so you can see here on doge pull back along this trend line once twice almost three times and this is the fourth and we bounce back up. We're sitting here pretty flat on, on it right now, around this 22 cent level. Uh, you know, can we bounce off here and head back up? We can, but you know, if we look at this little descending wedge here, you know, it is headed south here. We've been trending downwards, uh, where the rest of the a lot of the markets have been going up. Uh, so Doge, you know, it's, it's 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 been off my hot list for a while. Um, you know, Shiba and Bitcoin definitely are the top line uh, ones, and, and XRP. Uh, so, but we'll keep an eye on it, but I uh, just wanted to point that out. Definitely continue trading with us, uh, share your ideas and your thoughts, uh, continue to subscribe, and uh, hopefully these videos are helping you out. And if they are, then uh, let us know and uh, stay safe out there. We'll give you an update tomorrow as far as what, how our stocks went that, that's on our list. Definitely watching the pre-market for movement and direction on where we're going. Are we going up and turning this around on Tuesday? or are we headed down south to another uh, support level? We'll soon find out. Everybody have a great night.